What's good, YouTube? It's me, Coach 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the awesome and amazing LDBC, Lions Den Boston community. Shout out to the greatest university in the world, the Southern University, home of the mighty Jaguars. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to give my post-game reaction to uh, Southern University versus Alabama State. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. I shot a video right after the game. And to be truthful, uh, I didn't upload the video because I don't want to be seen in that particular light. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was highly upset. Uh, it was a winnable game. Uh, it was a game that was within reach. However, Southern, uh, they didn't do enough to pull it out. So uh, I waited a handful of days, and now I'm getting ready to give my post-game analysis leading into uh, the Jackson State game. And in addition to that, uh, from a coaching perspective, uh, I'll give my – how I would approach the game if I was Coach Dooley. But, you know, of course it seems as if he's not going to go with my particular approach, however. Uh, first, the game itself, uh, you know, the thing that aggravated me about the game is uh, – I listened to it both on the radio and watched it on my ESPN Plus app. Uh, I don't know what it is with the ESPN Plus app, but I was having issues with it like I do often. Uh, I mean, I'm at the point now, I think, with the ESP, ESPN Plus app, uh, for the exception of big boxing matches or, uh, you know, Southern University games, to me, it really serves no purpose. And I'm at the point now where I'm, I'm thinking, about, thinking about canceling it because it's – I'm at the point now it's not even worth the hassle. I'm always having issues with it. I don't know if it's just me or if that's the way it is just in general. Uh, if you have uh, issues with the ESPN Plus app, let me know in the comment section. But I'm always having issues with it. But in terms of the actual game itself, uh, so the ESPN Plus app, was having, I was having issues. So I started out listening to the game uh, on the radio. And Southern's offense seems like early in the game they just had it going. Uh, they went down the field. Uh, they scored a touchdown. Uh, Harold Blood threw a touchdown pass to Kendrick Grimes. Of course, on the ensuing drive, uh, Alabama, Demetrius Davis took Alabama State. He just marched them down the field, uh, and they scored. Uh, Demetrius Davis threw a uh, touchdown pass to Keyshawn Johnson. So it was back and forth early in the game. Uh, Southern second drive, Harold Blood let him down the field to kick a field goal. Uh, and the issue with that particular situation is from, uh, seems like early in the game, Southern's offense had it going and Southern's defense was struggling. Alabama State, uh, they ensuing, uh, their second drive, they went down, they kicked the field goal, but they missed. So it was 10-7 uh, uh, Southern early. And it seems like from an offensive standpoint, uh, that was the highlight of Southern's they those first two drives because after that, it was just a struggle just to move the ball. Uh, it was a struggle to kind of keep the chains uh, moving. And they just struggled offensively. It seems like uh, early Southern's defense struggled to get stops. You know, Demetrius Davis was constantly making plays. Uh, he was constantly getting the ball to Keyshawn Johnson. But after a while, Southern's defense settled in. Uh, and they, I think they played well probably after the first few drives. The problem with that is Southern offense just struggled. Uh, and as a result, it was kind of like a blase, boring game. It was 10-7. Uh, eventually, uh, you know, with Southern's constant offensive struggles, eventually Alabama State took the lead. And late in the game, you know, that was all she wrote. Uh, Alabama State ended up winning. Alabama State ended up winning, excuse me, 14-10. Uh, now, from a uh, numbers perspective, uh, Harold Blood, he went 17 to 34. He had one interception and two touchdowns. Uh, that's not really not going to get it done. Uh, in terms of rushing, uh, Gary Quarles Jr., he had eight carries for 30 yards. Harold Blood had eight rushes for 22 yards. Uh, so, from a rushing standpoint, Southern really didn't have much of a run game to speak of. And since he struggled from a passing perspective, they really didn't have much of a pass game to speak of either. Uh, Jalen Howard was the leading receiver. Uh, he had uh, he had eight catches for 42 yards, and uh, George Quarles, uh 
Junior, he had 33, he had 30, I mean, he had three catches for 33 yards. So Southern really didn't have much of a, uh, didn't have one receiver with 100 yards uh, receiving and have uh, a leading rusher that had 100 yards either. So they were like just pedestrian overall. If you just look at the numbers from an Alabama State aspect of things, uh, Demetrius Davis, he had, uh, he had, 15, I'm sorry, from a passing standpoint, he was what? 15 to 21 for two touchdowns. He didn't have any interceptions. And that's another thing, too, all the Demetrius Davis hate. I don't see why he gets so much hate. Uh, like he's some type of scrub, uh, quarterback in a swag. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, he's not an elite swag quarterback, but at the same token, he's not some scrub. I'll probably say about five years ago when Alcorn State uh, was winning swag championships, he would have been like the perfect fit for that team. You know, if you'd have put uh, the type of running game that they had in those days and the type of defense they had or the type of offensive line they had, he would have been a perfect fit for Alcorn State about five years ago. So all of these, like, haters that are making it seem like Demetrius Davis is some scrub, like, knock it off, bro. Like, it's ridiculous. I mean, I think he's just a solid swag quarterback. I mean, I think he could be like an honorable mention like all swag type quarterback, you know what I'm saying? And of course, uh, the biggest thing was Keyshawn Davis. He had uh, nine receptions for 107 yards and two touchdowns. He had a long catch of 43 yards. So he really was the thing that really kind of killed Southern uh, between uh, Demetrius Davis running and passing combination, in addition to just Keyshawn, uh, Keyshawn Johnson from a receiving standpoint. That really was what, I think took Alabama State over the top in my estimation. Now, the thing about it was the next day, Jackson State, you know, week, week zero, they looked extremely good against South Carolina State. But it seems as if, uh, in terms of a win standpoint, I don't think that was too good a win because looking at South Carolina State now, they don't seem to have too good a team in Buddy Pugh's last season, which is unfortunate. But either way, uh, fam, you gave the business to uh, Jackson State. So going into this game, uh, Jackson State lost the last week to fam, you. Uh, Southern lost to Alabama State. Uh, if I was Coach Dooley, first and foremost, I mean, I don't know why he playing in our face. Hell, blood is not that good. I'm going to be truthful. I've seen Southern quarterbacks since before I really was able to watch football. But the earliest qu Southern quarterback I remember is Nate Harrison, and I've seen quarterbacks from Nate Harrison all the way to this present uh, moment with Harold Blood. Harold Blood, not that guy. I'm going to be truthful. Hopefully, he could play better this coming week. But, I mean, if I was Coach Dooley, I would open up our, uh, I'll open up the quarterback race. Uh, me, truthfully, I'll play three quarterbacks. I'll play Harold Blood. I'll play Dylan, Ram D Dylan Marota, and I'll play Noah Biden. I'll play all three of them. Uh, I'll give uh, Blood the first couple of series. I'll give Biden the next couple of series. I'll give Moreau the next couple of series. And whichever of the three plays better, I'll go with that guy. Now, uh, at some point, one of the three has the hot hand, I'll go with that guy. But more than anything, uh, I don't think you have a, a, a clear-cut starting quarterback at this point. Uh, from what I've been hearing, uh, this is they tested and Jalen Woods from a talent standpoint, are the two best quarterbacks on the roster from what I hear. I don't know how truthful, how accurate that is. Maybe we'll find out find out down the line, but from what I'm hearing, like by far, those are the two best quarterbacks on the roster. I don't know how true it is, but we'll see in due time. But I'll, uh, I'll just try all three quarterbacks, and in addition to that, what I would do, just based on what fam you was able to do against Jay State, uh, I would lean heavily on the running game, you know, that's one thing Southern has done over the years. Southern has had a lot of good offensive lines. Uh, it seems as if Southern's offensive line to this point in the season, they're not as good as they've been in the past. Uh, I wouldn't lean as much on the passing game. I will lean more on the running game if I was Coach Dooley, but that's how I would approach everything if I was in his shoes. Uh, and the crazy thing about it is Southern is not really in a position to, to be able to afford back-to-back -back loss to start out the season. Neither is Jackson State in terms of swag play. So it's going to be interesting to see who's more desperate, who wins tomorrow night, tomorrow night's game. Uh, if I was uh, Coach Dooley, I mean, I'd definitely do everything I could to win this game. 
and of, and of and of course I'm sure TC Taylor uh, is gonna have that same approach. Uh, I'm hopefully Southern pulls out the win. I really wouldn't bet on it because I'm not a betting person. But even with that being said, I really wouldn't bet on it. Uh, so hopefully they could get a, a close win. But we'll see how things play out. Uh, that's it for this video. If you saw any value in this video, like the video, share the video, comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Also, click the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime I post any new videos. Uh, of course, uh, my intent was to broadcast live from the game, but uh, things really look like it's really, it looks as if I'm not going to be able to pull that one off, but I'll uh, do a video from the game and I'll give my post-game reaction tomorrow. That's it for this video. I'll catch y'all on the rebound. Peace and blessings.